Welcome to Nitro. Today, we'll go through a brief overview of navigating through the Nitro PDF Pro app for iOS. Let's get started. On the screen is the navigation view for Nitro PDF Pro. On the left are the locations available including cloud services, and on the right is a list of documents in the currently selected folder. In the files view, there are several tools available. The edit tool allows you to customize the cloud services that Nitro displays. The next button over shows your current directory. Tapping on the back icon goes to the previous directory. And the name at the top is the folder that's currently opened. The plus icon allows you to create a new document and you can create a blank, lined or graph document or create a new document from a photo. The tools icon button shows you additional settings and information relevant to the files view. It first shows you the settings for the application such as the version and set the annotation author. It also lets you toggle the text expander, update snippets, and set your stylus. Finally, the selection tool. This allows you to select your PDFs to action them. After selecting two PDFs, I can share, duplicate, move, or delete these documents at the same time. I also have the ability to combine these documents together using the join tool at the top right hand corner. Moving into the documents themselves, we have additional tools available. The left arrow allows us to go back to our navigation view. The next button over is undo. If I create a drawing and decide it's a mistake, then I can tap the button to undo it. Next to that is the sidebar button to open a navigation pane, which shows you the pages within the document and allows you to easily move from page to page by tapping it. Tapping the sidebar button again will hide the panel. The next button over will show you all of the pages in the PDF document. In this view, you can rearrange the pages by dragging the pages around the screen. You can delete a page or a selection of pages with a delete icon at the top left hand corner or add additional pages with a plus icon. Tapping on a page will go back to the document. While a PDF is open, there are several tools on the right side of the toolbar. The first is the highlighting tool, followed by the scribble tool, the type text, and then the library tool, where you can add library elements. Finally, there's the tools menu, which allows you to share, print, insert page numbers, protect your document, look at the document information, as well as go into further settings. That's all for today. See you next time.